Hey everyone, I'm Keychain, and this is going to be a beginner's guide to Kingdom Raid. Before I get started, I want to do a quick channel disclaimer. I am trying to grow the channel. I want to get to a thousand subscribers and monetize the channel. So I'm going to start doing giveaways at milestones. So at 500 subscribers, 750, a thousand, things like that, I'm going to start doing some some gift card giveaways or something so remember to like and subscribe uh, spread my videos and help me get to these milestones and I'll start doing some giveaways so with that said let's get started on Kingdom Raid so what is Kingdom Raid? well Kingdom Raid happens after you've done your initial kill event and then I think an additional one following and it looks like this Actually, let's go to the event center. It's called Gold Event Kingdom Raid. Now there's five stages to this. And you can scroll through the stages. So the first stage is Spirit Mines, and you're gonna get stage and rank, rank rewards for that while also earning these raid coins and chests for the Alliance. So it's important that you do these quests because these raid coins, I'll show you in a minute, are very important for Kingdom Raid and continuing to have fun during Kingdom Raid. Second stage is construction and research. A lot of people will plan big upgrades to land on this day, um, castle upgrades, things like that, because if you can finish up a, a castle upgrade on this, it'll pretty much max it out in, in one go. And then the third day is kill events or it's a kill event, it's threats and red guard camps, and looking at the chart here, it's basically 100 points per level of the threats, and then red guards, it's a little bit different. It's uh, because it's 20 stamina, it's not quite um, four times, or is it? Okay, so it's four times, four times, four times. Okay, so it's basically 400 points per level. And that's a, a good way if you want to get rid of your stamina quick. It's just do a couple of red guard camps with your alliance. Fourth day, training stage. It also gives you so it gives you some patterns and stuff, but it also gives you this battlefield treatment scroll. And you only get a couple of these, and they're pretty helpful if you're going to attack somebody that's bigger than you. Um, and then finally is the raid stage. So in the raid stage, you get different points for killing troops. Different tiers of troops give different points. Um, a kill counts as hospital, death, any of it. Like if you're attacking someone, you're going to get points. If someone's attacking you, you're going to get points. So that's it for this piece of it. Now, let's go back in there actually. So inside of here, there's a couple of raid features. So there's a sworn enemy list. There's the border hospital. Now this is the this is the thing that makes this event so fun. Is your border hospital is two and a half times larger than your normal hospital, and the troops go in here in here and they heal quicker. And then anything beyond that, or um, you know when you're attacking, you'll get troops that go into the losses. This is where the coins come into play. So. Let's, let's back out. Inside this raid shop, you can change these the coins that you earned for the events into resurrection coins. And then resurrection coins can be assigned out by the R4s. And it looks like we are very low on them this time. So we've got basically 1.7 million raid coins left. We can't get any more raid teleports. We're going to run out of resurrection coins and then the other things you can buy are march speed ups but they're not generally worth it not my opinion but you do get them from chests so when you open up a raid chest you can see the kind of stuff you get um, basically you're going to release these raid chests everybody in the alliance will augment them and get some gold for doing it one person will win a thousand gold. The rest of them will get small amounts of gold, 40 to 50 gold each. And then when they reach the highest level or when you run out of time, you can open the chest. And I can see in the history here what we got. So one of these chests, we got 
two of these searching scrolls to find somebody on your sworn enemies list, and then some regular coins and some resurrection coins. And it just gives different things for each of these. Um, this one will banish somebody out of your territory, send them back to their own kingdom. This one will, I think, prevent them from sending marches, and then another one of these prevents them from teleporting. So there's, there's some cool stuff in here. Now, sworn enemy list. So the sworn enemy list is people who have plundered and killed in your alliance. So you can see on this list that Panzer has plundered some resources, killed a bunch of our troops. Um, there's some other people in here that have some, some pretty decent kills. This guy, I can't say his name, has a lot of kills. Um, and then Tiz Knight has a lot of kills. And you can actually see Search and Destroy history. So if I hit Search and Destroy here, I'm not going to because I don't want to waste it. I am an R4, so I could use this. It would show me their coordinates. And then we can go right there and see if they're shielded. And if they're not, attack them or have somebody else attack them if they're, they're too big for us. Now, what other piece? Um, Raid Mastery just goes over the strategies you can get the scrolls for, and you can use these. When you hit use, it'll take you back to the screen, and you can select the castle you want to use it on. Now, the final feature is this Raid Readout. Now, a lot of people have questions about this. So, on the Raid Readout, these are the resources I collected from the other kingdom. When I get attacked, these resources get taken first. I didn't get very much this time around, but I'm going to go hunting a little bit later, um, probably on the end of this video. Now, the other thing is this giveaway list. People are like, oh, how do I get on the giveaway list? Well, getting on the giveaway list is by losing resources. So it's better not to be on the giveaway list. Uh, I also, depending on the situation, if someone's really high on this list with a lot of resources lost, don't give them the resources. They lost them all from not playing right, not being shielded, you know, whatever the reason is, you don't have to give anybody the resources. It's only if you want to. Um, so at the end of this, when the event's over, you can just hit collect and collect everything, or you can give some to some people if, you know, you felt bad. Maybe someone had a bad situation, and this guy's like, I thought I was shielded, or, you know, I was busy with somebody in the hospital, or, you know, maybe they had an actual good reason then send them some resources, help them out. You know, they, they are part of your alliance, but not everybody in your alliance plays smart and does the right things. I'm sure that you guys know that by now. So that's it for this. Now, how do you get to another kingdom? How do you fight? So you can, there's two ways. You can go into the raid feature and you can click the kingdom and it'll take you there. The other way is there's a little button on here that shows how long is left in Kingdom Raid, and you can click that and it'll bring you back to this. So you can click it, go to another kingdom, and start looking for targets. And this is where you'd scroll through, check your bookmarks, all that. Now say I did want to raid somebody. Um, I'll show you guys my bookmark scheme. So friends, to me, are people that I think I can hit. Um, the are targets for me personally. Those are the ones that I put as friends. Marked are maybe alliances, alliances that have some strong people that I normally wouldn't go into, but maybe they've been all shielded or I wanna play bait or I've got somebody big backing me up and they're coming with me. These are my maybe alliances. And then my enemy alliances are ones that I check for targets for other people. These are people I check for the big 2 billion, 3 billion, 12 billion people in my alliance. And this is where I would go to look for targets for them. So let's say I wanted to go check these guys. Well, I'd scroll through here and I'm looking for people without shields. And if I find anybody without a shield, I'm gonna check their power and see if they're already dead. Now it takes a while to get good at that. And you're going to have to pay attention to what castle level people are, how much power they have in general, average players. 
and then you'll be able to tell. So an example of that is, say this guy ran. We're going to view his profile, and he's got 172 million power. So he's probably got some troops. Maybe not a lot, because he's a C-34. I'm also a C-34, and I'm at 412 million. But if I was in my gathering gear, my power drops to... It needs to update. My power drops to 277 mil. So still a little bit higher than him, but he might have some troops. So that would be one to look for. And I better get my other gear back on in case I do decide to attack somebody. Now when you do find a target, say this guy here. Say you wanted to attack Kami. Call me. Kami. Kami. I don't know how you say it. But say I wanted to attack Kami. When I click to teleport into this kingdom, it's going to tell me to invade. So when I hit invade, it gives me the option to use the raid teleports or gold. Now, I only have two raid teleports left, so I either need to gift myself one or use gold. And that will put me in this, in this kingdom initially. Then after in the kingdom initially, you can use advanced teleports, random teleports, um, everything that you would normally use while you're in that kingdom. And it's a normal amount. So after I've initially joined the kingdom, it's only one advanced teleport to port around, one random teleport to port around, etc. Now, I think that that's it as far as the kingdom raid guide. So remember to like and subscribe. Um, I'm actually going to check a bunch of my bookmarks now and see if I can actually do some fighting. Oh, no, I, I did forget one thing. Very, very important thing. When you attack during Kingdom Raid, let's see if I can find the, the description of it. So when you attack during Kingdom Raid, every time you attack, your peace shield cooldown is added to by two minutes. So if I attack somebody five times, it boosts my, po my peace shield cooldown by 10 minutes. It means I can't shield again for 10 minutes. If you break your peace shield from attacking, it automatically goes to a 30 minute cooldown like it does regularly, but then it additionally will add to that every time you attack somebody. So pro tip, if you were planning on attacking somebody and you wanted to go raiding, don't do it when don't break your shield to do it. Plan your shields around the time you want to attack. Say I want to go attacking later tonight. I'm going to look at my buffs. I've got 13 hours till, um, till I could have my shield dropped so that I would have zero peace shield cooldown. And that's important because you may find a bunch of smaller targets, but people are linking in Kingdom Chat and Alliance Chat your stats every time you're, you're hitting somewhere. Let me see if I can find any in my alliance. Or Kingdom. Okay, so nothing going on for a while. But when, when people start showing up in hives, we link their cords so that somebody can come and attack them. All right, so back to the kingdom. I'm going to look in 241 for a little bit. Uh, I think that's it for, for the actual guide. Now stick around if you want to see me try and find some targets. Um, I'm going to be breaking my peace shield, so then I'll be hiding and trying to run away from people after I've done some more looting if I can find anybody. So the way that I initially set up my bookmarks is I pick one kingdom and I go through that kingdom relentlessly. I look at every corner I can find, I look for hives, I follow troop lines from gathering, from you know red guards, from the wolf, wherever I can. I follow lines to people's castles. And then when I have them, I bookmark it and I check back later. So, these guys are all shielded still. I came in here yesterday, and I scouted a bunch of people, and got a couple of hits in, but they're just, there was nothing. There were no troops, no resources, nothing. And it looks like all the same people are still unshielded, and nothing new. So I'm going to go to another bookmark. And that's friends for me. I'm going to scroll through just above the one I was at. So that was NWA, this guy, but then his alliance here. So I'm going to go check on this guy. Let's see. 
He's only got 153 million power left, so somebody already hit him. I bookmarked him probably for... He probably had more troops, more power, and now I think somebody already got him. So I'll look around here quickly to see where I am. I'll check the map, see where you're at on the map. So people might be towards the center. And then you could also see that one of my alliance members is here. And I can go see who that is by clicking on it. If it would let me actually click on it. And go see who it is, who's attacking. So it's Mudbringer. He's just hanging out in here. He's got his bubble up. This is another one of the alliances I was looking at is this Chi Alliance. And I don't know exactly where they're at. But I'll check my bookmarks and find out. Let's see. And sometimes hunting is not fun. It doesn't turn up anything. Um, you may end up looking for hours and not finding much. Uh, that happened to me last night. I was out hunting. I looked for like an hour and a half. I couldn't find anything. I got my points and then I just went home for the night and figured I'd try again later because... You know, the, the longer you're out there, the more chances there are that someone else finds you at the same time. So I'm still stealing a lot of shields here. This guy, C31, 173 million power at C31 is a maybe. He might have some troops. So I don't know. I might want to go. I might want to go there. So let's rebookmark this so it's at the top of the list. And we can come back to it in a minute. The other thing I want to do is make sure there's no giant castles hiding. Or that it's attached to a farm of giant castles that I just missed. Because it's easy for someone to speed hit you when they're not too far away. So here's a whole lot of UAC blockers and there's a pretty big alliance here. So if I do go there, I need to be careful. Because any one of these C40s could decide... I'm going to speed hit this guy real quick and, and kill him. So this guy, C35, 190, he's probably dead. Um, let's see, anybody else unshielded? Not at the moment. This guy is a C22, I'm not going to worry about that. Jens. Jens has 166 million power. Probably dead already. So I think that's it. Now the other thing I saw a minute ago was there were lines going in a different direction. Now, did I miss those? Oh, who is this? Wanderer, C23. Not going to worry about that. Okay, so let's let's do it for the video and hope I don't get killed. So I'm going to port in here. You try and find a spot that's close enough to your target that... Oh, this is hard to do on the computer. Okay. So I could go here or... Way over here. I think this one's closer by a hair, maybe. So I poured in here and it'll do a loading screen, get you ported into this kingdom, and then you're there and you get to start doing stuff. So I'm gonna break my peace shield here. I may end the video um, after I do this attack and I'm running around hiding because I'm gonna have a 30 minute cooldown plus two minutes if I actually attack him. But no matter what, when I scout, I'm gonna have a 30 minute cooldown because I'm gonna break my peace shield. So wish me luck. Let's see what he's got. He's got a tiny bit of troops and some resources. So I do want the resources, so we're gonna attack. It reminds you right here. So every time you attack a Lord, your peace shield, um, cooldown will be extended for two minutes, da, da, da. 30 minutes. Oh, it stacks for a maximum of 30 minutes. I didn't know that. So that's good. Um, 
but we're going to get an attack in here and we're going to get some resources. So I'm going to send a couple so that I can get the wood. I think two marches should get me the wood that I need and then get the kills and we'll be out of here. So while we're here, we might as well scout the other guys that are unshielded and see if we can find anything. And when I do start scouting and looking at people, I do everybody. Because you never know what someone's going to hide on a tiny little farm. And maybe they had opened up resources by mistake. So this guy, he's got some troops, so I'll save this. This guy has some troops, so I'll save this. This guy has nothing, so let's go here, and we're going to send an attack, and then the other one was this guy. Let's send an attack at him. I think I got all these resources, I'll check that just to make sure, so I got 2.9 iron and silver, and then on the second attack I got 2.5 iron and silver. Initial scout report. So I think I cleared him out. If not close enough, I don't need to worry about getting 2 million, or another set of uh, 2 minute stack for that. So then, who did I miss on scouting? Need to scout him, need to scout him. I need to scout him, him or her. I say him, but it could be a girl. Sorry if uh, it sucks. It's, it's, a, it's a bad habit to break. Um, always saying, hey guys, and you know all that stuff. I'm trying to get into the habit of saying, hey everyone, and not saying this guy and that guy, just this castle, that castle. So let's save this. That guy doesn't have much. He's got a little bit. I don't know if I want to bother with that. Vlad Cat player doesn't have much. Kazakhstan doesn't have much. Let's hit Vlad Cat so he doesn't feel sad that he didn't get hit. He's good enough for me to hit. I don't want him to uh, feel left out. Um, okay, so now while all, all this is going on. I've got to be careful because anybody could see me and hit me and they're going to kill me. So it said it stacks to a maximum of 30 minutes, but look, it went above that. So I wasn't mistaken. Even though it said that in the uh, description, doesn't mean that it's true. Unless it means 30 minutes from attacking plus the 30 minutes from breaking your peace shield for an hour total. That could be the case. So, as soon as these get back, I'm going to random teleport out of here so that I'm in a different spot. I'm going to make sure it's a safe spot on the map, and then I'll decide um, if I'm going to go to any other targets. Oh, my. So, let's hit items. Let's random away. And now we're in a different part of the map. Let's make sure it's not in the middle of some scary hive. Seems like an okay spot. Zoom around you a little bit. Make sure that there's nothing. Oh, there's something here. Not a big alliance. Just a dead alliance. Okay. So there's nothing to worry about right now in here. There are some smaller people that I can scout and just see if maybe they're holding resources. Because you never know. And if none of them are, it doesn't hurt me much. And you can see here that my raid readout is bigger. And if somebody does hit me, it will be, they'll take resources out of there before they take resources off of me. Okay, let's get back over here. Check some of these scout reports real quick. Okay, looks like we had an issue with somebody attacking another member of our own kingdom. 
during the match inside of another inside of an enemy kingdom. And it happens. It's because they show up as red. Um, it's probably something that should be changed. But so there's nothing on any of those. And final scout for this little area, flying fish has nothing. So I think that's it for this one. Um, let me check if there's any other hives I want to go to. If you guys are still with me, th you know, thanks for watching. Thanks for staying with me. Um, I'm not going to do a video montage and, you know, add a bunch of music to it. I'm not big enough for that to be exciting to watch. I already checked this guy. Um... Boy, someone, ALC, Andre is gone. ALC. Okay, so here's a perfect example. This is from my kingdom. It shows up red like an enemy. And if you don't pay attention to this dot K524, you're not going to know that this is one of your guys. And I might come in here and hit him, but he's from the same kingdom as me. He's also hitting one of the hives I was looking at. So good for him as a... C27 getting out there and wrecking some people. Now it looks like he's done a pretty decent job of getting people killed over here. I don't want to scout that. I don't want to see the profile. He's got 300 million, so he's got troops. And I bet you that my guy won't attack it. Oh, I'd like to have him kill this. Um, he probably won't respond in time though. So I want to kill this guy Lafferty. So I'm going to try and find a spot to teleport that's close enough that I can actually get at him. They've got UAC blockers everywhere, so this is where it gets harder. So let's see what he's got. Let's see if there's anybody else. Okay, here's someone else from Kingdom 524. So it was a coordinated attack with uh, with an alliance, which is cool. A few profile is already dead. Let's scout this. So the first one I wanted to hit was this guy. He's got a lot of troops. So this is where one of those items is going to come in good. So, oh, it's this guy. Uh-oh. So someone is attacking me. It's feck. What is he doing? Oh, wait, no, that's Kingdom 241. And he's sending T9. Is he hiding another attack? No, what is this guy doing? Okay, <laughs> well, he wants to send me free points. Um, I'll let him. I just need to ignore both of these so it stops flashing red in case somebody else sends an attack in behind this. Notice, why does it say, so here it says Kingdom 524, but then inside of here, it says Kingdom 241. This guy's retarded. Okay, well, my own kingdom sacrificing troops to me. It happens, guys. Um, <laughs> you're watching it happen right now, and he's going to sacrifice more. I don't know why he would send this at me. Okay, recall. At least he figured it out. Now let's see if the other guy will attack me too. That would be silly. Um, okay, so the other scout on Carlitos doesn't have much... So Lafferty is who I want. He's got a lot of troops. When I attack Lafferty, I'm going to use my best march. And I'm going to use this battlefield treatment scroll. And we're going to march. I also, I probably don't have my buffs up anymore. So let me get these going. Savage attack. This boosted march speed. Anti-scout. Now we're going. And let's speed this up a little bit. Get it in there. I'm not one of the uh, 
big guys throwing a bunch of gold around. I use my, my freebies. Now let's see how my attack does. He's a C34 like me, so it could be a big loss for me. But it wasn't, so it looks like I got almost all of his troops. I have, because I used that scroll, I have no losses. I've got all wounded. And because they're all wounded, it's going to be a quick recovery. So let's get in there and let's start those recovering, because those are distance and I need them. And then it's going to be in your border hospital. I'm going to heal it. And then I don't think I need to speed it up. So let's get back out there. Now, when I did the initial scout, did he have resources? That's the other thing to check. Um, that was Lafferty. Lafferty did not have any resources, just troops. And I don't need to hit him again for a two-minute timer just for a little bit of troops that I left over. Like, I don't need to finish him all the way. So let's scout this guy. The other thing to check for is look for garrison buildings. See this building right here? This is garrisoned. Now you can view it, and it's got 44,000 troops. I think that I want to kill those troops. So... If I can click it, I'm going to attack this tower, and I'm going to get in there and kill the troops that are garrisoned there. I don't see other, any, here's another garrisoned building. It's got 82,000, so let's hit that one as well. I've already, oh, I can only do one alliance building at a time. So the other thing that's dangerous about this without scouting is... They could be 80k tier 12, and that's not going to work out great for me. But, oh, and this guy's unscouted. Oh man, I need to call in an airstrike on this one. Enemy, bookmarks, share. Let's see if somebody comes to hit that. But that's also dangerous for me, because then if he's here, he might want to attack. But since we're here, let's scout him and see what he's got. Because <laughs> why not? Why not? Uh, zero losses there. This guy has nothing. Let's wait for the report. I could have woke him up by buzzing his phone, and that would be a mistake. But... There's the report. Now let's share that in Alliance chat. And I think we're going to take off. I think I'm going to get out of here. I don't want to stick around to see if somebody comes to hit it. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, you saw kind of how I hunt, how I hide, um, how things work. If you have questions, um, leave a comment. Remember to like and subscribe, all of those things. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.